Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. As somebody who's known how to spray texture with a hopper for a long time, I've always scoffed at the idea of using a can of texture. However, I've also never tried it. So today I'm gonna see how repairing a knockdown texture works with this Homax texture. And this one is specifically the knockdown one. They also had one for orange peel and I thought about getting that, but then I thought, no, if you're gonna test it for knockdown, get the knockdown one. So this patch is just about ready to give a quick polish. I'm not sanding it because it's on texture. I'm actually gonna sponge it a little bit and just flatten it down. Got a wet knife and a wet sponge. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of water so that hopefully it doesn't pull too much. It's just kicking off right now. Next, I'm gonna sponge these corners just a little bit just to kind of get down those slightly raised edges. I'm not one that usually uses a sponge, but in this case, for texture, it actually works pretty decently. I'm happy with that. So I've been shaking this up for a bit and I've been doing it on my test spot. Right now I've got it set to the finest setting. And even still, it's leaving pretty big blobs. But let's give it a whirl. It's dripping like crazy. Look at that. I wonder what's going wrong with it. Got it working a bit better. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. Let's knock it down. So you're not actually supposed to go over it that many times, but if you look at the original knockdown that I did on here, I accidentally went over this one a couple too many times. So this will help it match, but so far it's looking great. I'm really interested to see how this stuff is gonna paint up. It's had a chance to dry. So I'm just tuning up a couple little things I see here and there. The edge, any overspray. goes. I'm actually quite impressed with this product. The only thing I see wrong is user error. I just wiped it down a little bit too much so it's a bit too flat but either way that's a pretty good patch if you ask me. Here's a test board I did after the fact, and that's a much better knockdown. I just sprayed it a little heavier and waited a little bit longer before I knocked it down. So I think with practice, you could get really good results from these cans and easily do like a two foot by two foot patch. I'm actually super surprised at how well this worked and I thought it was actually pretty user friendly. The only downside is this can costs about $25. And if I don't have a lot to do, then I'm gonna buy it, use it once, and it's done. And I, it's kind of wasteful to me. So if I can figure out a different way to do it that's a little bit cheaper and I don't have a can of this sitting around, then I'm gonna do that. However, if I lived in the States where knockdown texture is super popular, I could see this coming in really handy. I'm gonna link the product in the description below. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you got something useful out of this video. I'm super impressed with it. And next, I'm gonna buy a can of the orange peel stuff and see how that works, because again, I'm still skeptical. If you wanna support the channel, do all those like, subscribe things. Thanks guys, I appreciate it, and until the next video.